This installation is for the 2019 and up Jeep Gladiator. This product has a payload rating of 550 pounds, is lockable, water resistant, and the most versatile top on the market. This product is the new standard for loadable, functional bed covers and is available for most trucks on the market today. This install will start with the hinge chassis. Flip the chassis over to the opposite side from the hinges. As shown here, we will be applying 3 16 foam strip just to the weld edges on the each end to match up with the bed sides. This foam strip will seal out water from the front edge of the bed. Cut to the appropriate length and apply. You may need to apply more than one layer of foam to fill the gap. If your truck has a bed liner applied, you may need to clear the holes with a M6 tap. Let's install the hinge chassis. If you have the Mopar trail rail system, you'll have to remove the front wall section. Using four M6 bolts, flat washers, and lock washers, attach the front hinge chassis. Tighten down the bolts to seven and a half foot pounds or hand tight. Do not over tighten bolts. Next, we'll install the water guard. Use the supplied silicone adhesive and on the side with the holes, run a bead along the curved edge. Attach using M6 bolts and 10 millimeter nylock nuts. Do not over tighten. You will notice a gap on the outside edges. We will fill this with the supplied silicone. Next we'll install the locking brackets. The locking brackets are sided and they both point towards the rear, contouring the bed of the truck. To start this install, use the existing hole and the center slotted hole push towards the rear of the vehicle to find the first mounting position. Use a 23 bit to drill this hole out larger. If the truck is bedlined, you may need to use a larger bit just to remove some of the bed liner. Apply the rivet nut. Loosely apply the M6 bolt to the nut we just set. Slide the bracket to the rear of the vehicle and make sure the bracket is sitting vertically. Drill two pilot holes. Remove the bracket. Drill out your pilot holes using the 23 bit. Apply the other two rivet nuts. Attach the bracket using the three M6 bolts, flat washers, and lock washers. Tighten down the bolts to seven and a half foot pounds or hand tight. Do not over tighten bolts. Repeat on the opposite side, remembering to slide the bracket towards the rear of the vehicle using the center hole as your guide. Next, let's install the tracks. If your vehicle comes with the stock trail rails, you will not need to use these brackets. Locate the two M6 holes located at the back top rear of the bedsides. With the T-slots pointing towards the front of the vehicle, insert the M8 stud bolts in the second and fourth slot. Attach using the M6 bolts, flat washers, and lock washers. Tighten down the bolts to seven and a half foot pounds or hand tight. Do not over tighten bolts. Attach the gas strut bracket with the flat part towards the front of the vehicle and the gas strut clevis pointing out. Using the 13 millimeter nuts, attach the bracket. Before tightening down, make sure the bracket sets within the bed indentation. Tighten to 15 foot-pounds of torque. Repeat this process on the opposite side. After the silicone is dried where we applied it to the water guard area near the hinge section, 
it's time to attach the main section. Adjust the top accordingly where the hinge sets over the track and where the top sits evenly across the bed. Let's connect the top to the hinge base. Climb on top. Using the slot in the center of the top, slide out two track nuts to each hinge point. Align each rectangular track nut. Using the provided security Torx bit, lightly attach the top. Do not tighten down. Do final alignment adjustments. Tighten down the bolts to seven and a half foot pounds or hand tight. Do not over tighten bolts. For ease of insulation, remove the clevis from the mounted gas strut bracket. To do so, as visualized here, you need to rotate the locking pin around the outside and then pull the pin straight out. Screw on the clevis to the gas strut. Repeat on the opposite side. Move to one side of the truck bed, lift up the topper, and attach the clevis. Reattach the locking pin to the clevis. Repeat on the opposite side. When attaching the locking pin to the clevis, make sure it seats around the notch head of the clevis. With the tail bed down, it's time to do a dry fit of the locking mechanism. Next, open the topper, close the tailgate, and adjust the locks accordingly to get a snug, tight fit. The final steps are installing the security straps. We will be installing these on the two outer support tracks. Remove and reuse the M6 rain guard bolt below the track we'll be mounting this from. And adding an additional washer, attach the strap. Tighten back to previous specs. Using this applied M8 bolt, slide the bolt into the track to the base and attach the other side of the strap using the supplied nylock nut and washer. Finish this project by covering the nylock nut with the plastic nut cover.